So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done like a video like this in a while. It's been two or three weeks. I know I promised that I would do episode reviews on The Walking Dead and then I just didn't. Lads, life got in the way. As I've said before, I work in retail. It's Christmas. It's the bitch's busiest time of the year right about now, so work with me. Anyway, I'm going to do kind of like a review for the last episode, I guess, because the last one was really important because it's set up for the mid-season finale. First of all, Ezekiel, my heart is fucking breaking for the man sitting there holding on to his fucking Shiva's chain and there's no Shiva there. Oh my god. Secondly, the whole Rick and Daryl thing? What the fuck? You two should not be fighting, little bitches. They're fucking fighting and then Daryl's going all MacGyver, taking matters into his own hands, creating fucking ways he can fight back. He should know Rick by now and he should know that Rick is gonna freak the fuck out when he finds out. I freaked the fuck when I saw him trying to put shit together without Rick. I was like, I no, your team. There's been a lot of discussion on my channel and on my Twitter about Daryl and why he's doing what he is doing. I have said before that I feel like he still carries a lot of guilt around because of Glenn, because of Glenn's death. And I still do stand by that. I still do think whenever anything happens, he thinks of how he inadvertently had a hand to play in Glenn's death. So that's not me saying that I blame him. I'm saying he did have a hand to play in it completely unknowingly to him so but I do think he carries that grief around and I think that he feeds off of that when he has to but this time it just did not work and he made a stupid fucking decision he's very bad at event planning then you have Rick all naked with Jadis that sounded wrong naked in Jadis's box that didn't sound right either I think that scene was really really interesting because Rick to me I was like Rick boy have you given up why are you just sitting in the box and then he comes out and he fucks up two people with a walker and then he's all to Jadis. I'm not posing naked for you. You're just going to be on my side and that's it. And it worked. I fucking loved that. I was like, wow. So now he has the fucking trash people on his side. I think he's going to be really pissed off though next time he sees Daryl. And maybe even Michonne because Michonne knew about this. So I don't know. Is that going to cause some kind of argument in their relationship? Is there going to be a falling out? Because at the end of the day, Daryl had his little crew going to do the thing. And then half the crew left. To be fair, they did. And Michonne did leave. She backed out. But I wonder how is Rick going to take to that? How is he going to take to the fact that people were planning behind his back? Is he going to feel like he is losing his touch? Is he going to feel like... People are starting to lose faith in him. I'm so excited to see what happens there. Of course, we can't forget about Eugene and Father Gabriel. Eugene... You, mm, mm -hmm. Eugene seems to have completely swapped to Negan's side. Which I didn't expect. Again, Eugene is just so concerned with self-preservation and keeping himself alive. I don't want to say I get it because that makes me seem really bad, but I do. I understand why he's doing what he's doing. I understand why he picked Negan's side. I get it. He's a frightened little man, and he's going to go wherever the promise of life is, and he seems to think that Negan can keep him alive. Um, all along, I was hoping that he was like, you know, a snitch, or he was trying to find out stuff. But with the whole airplane matter where he was going to send the walkers away and save all the saviors, that just kind of cemented it for me that he he's just on their side, I guess. Dwight is another interesting one regarding Eugene because Eugene was going to sell him out. He went to Negan, he was gonna fucking sell him out. But because Dwight came into the room, Eugene changed his fucking tune. He changed his story and was like, oh, I'm gonna fix the PA system, Negan, that's my news. Dwight is 100% committed to Rick's side, no longer on Negan's side. Um, I do feel bad for ever having hated him. He's a complex character for sure. And I really enjoyed watching him change throughout the last season and a half. I'm looking forward to see what is going to be the final tipping point that makes him completely just abandon Negan and not even pretend to be on his side anymore. But again, like Daryl, Eugene is battling with some demons too. He hasn't let Sasha go, the fact that Sasha's dead. We saw him looking at the coffin and he seemed to get emotional. The only way he could think of helping her was to give her that pill. In his mind that was helping her, but it ended up getting her fucking killed. He could have helped her in a way that did not result in death. But, alas, he didn't think of a way. And you have to think, does that play on his head? Is there guilt there? Is her death on his conscience and will he ever get over it? Not that I'm making excuses for Eugene, but I am making excuses for Josh. I said it in my reaction video. There's people hating on Josh. Lads, he's, he's an actor. No one hates on fucking Jeffrey Dean Morgan for playing a twisted guy. You know what I'm saying? Why hate on Josh? Now I know not like none of you guys that watch my videos would because the people that watch my videos and comment and stuff, you guys are quite civil. But there are people that hate on Josh just because he plays a character that they don't like. Josh plays Eugene, for those of you who don't know. 
I don't get that. I don't understand how that works. It is a sign that Josh is doing a really great job, though, that he's playing the part so well that people are having difficulty differentiating between the actor and the character. But still, don't send hate to actors. And then there's Father Gabriel. Father Gabriel seems sick. Now, is he faking? Mm. It looks like he has been bitten because he's all sweaty and he seems delirious and he's talking about God and trying to help Eugene on that path, I guess, or at least to do the right thing. But we didn't see a bite. We didn't see, like, teeth marks anywhere. So, I don't know. Could Can you fake something like that? I mean, you can't really fake a temperature, especially to a doctor, and there was a doctor there. So I don't know what his play is there. I really do hope he doesn't die because I really do like him. I've really grown to kind of appreciate him from where he has come from like being the man up on the rock that was crying he was a little bitch boy of a character to go from that to being able to hold your own being able to talk to Negan with like no fear in your eyes and just stand and just talk to him and be like tell me about your past bitch and it actually worked so I appreciate Gabriel he's really grown a lot and I think I don't know I think he's kind of the underdog of the show people don't really talk about his character enough Anyway, the mid-season is next week. I am excited and cautious. No, I have not seen the teaser trailers. I've seen a few promotional photos for the episode, but I haven't watched the trailer. I haven't watched sneak peeks. I should have said this at the start of the video. I don't like spoilers, so don't fucking leave spoilers in the comments. On my reaction video for episode 7, there was a load of you guys saying you knew spoilers, and none of you told me what the spoiler was. And I appreciated that so much much you guys were like oh something big's gonna happen but i won't tell you because i know you don't like them and i love that shit thank you for being respectful and for not spoiling shit for me i'm gonna be very cautious in my comment section and on twitter for the next week just until i've seen the mid-season because there are gonna be those few dick bods that post spoilers of some sort so i'm just gonna be very mindful and careful of comments and shit which is gonna be difficult i can't believe like after next week we're we're done the first half of the season what are we going to do with our fucking time? We're going to have to wait again for the second half. Oh my god. This show feels like long periods of time waiting and then like the episodes just hit you in the face so fast that you're back to waiting again before you even realise it. But anyway, mid-season predictions. Obviously someone big is going to die. No, again, I have not read spoilers. It just, it kind of follows that pattern that in the premiere, mid-season finale, mid-season premiere and finale, someone's going to die. Again, I don't really have any predictions. I'm feeling Father Gabriel right now because... He's all sweaty, he looks kind of bitten, but I have a feeling that could be like a fake out, just just to throw us off something. Um, I'd love to see more of Ezekiel, I'd love to see Ezekiel get up off the floor, because he's just sitting down in the theatre with, with his chain. So I'd like to see him get up off the floor and get moving again, maybe snap back into king mode. Or I'd like to see him snap back into leader mode, but with the king toned down a little bit, so more of just him. I'd love to see Carol back in action. Um, I want to see what the fuck... What's gonna happen? Okay, spoiler for those of you who live under a rock. Morgan is crossing over to the Fear the Walking Dead world. I don't know how that's gonna work, how he's gonna make that transition to that universe. Is he gonna die on the Walking Dead or is he just gonna walk away and leave? Not sure, but I'm interested to see how they make him depart the show. What kind of story arc they give him to fuck him away over to Fear. Can't wait to see that. I do think it'll work. Obviously, they wouldn't cross over his character if it wasn't gonna work. I'm just curious to see how they do it and how it fits in. But that's it really, I don't really have many predictions. Not long now until the mid-season finale and then back to just waiting, I suppose. Thank you guys so much for the love and support you've given me over the past few weeks because you have. On a more personal note, I've had a lot of you guys asking me how am I doing since the surgery. I am doing quite well, thank you very much. Thank you for the love and the well wishes. It's been a very, very rough two months. Um, I'm not sorry to see the back of it. The end of this year for me has been painful and something I never wanted to experience. But I do have something pretty exciting coming up soon, maybe even within the next week, that might turn around the ending to this year for me and it might put a positive spin on it. So maybe you guys should stay tuned for that because I think it is something you guys are going to be very, very, very interested in. So that is it for this week, you guys. I will talk to you all soon.